it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to go out there and, and experience what it's like to be rescued at sea. This is what will find me when I'm lost at sea. Right, hello and welcome to Operation Shark Bait, a live demonstration to show how the search and rescue service of the Galileo satellites can help speed up the launch of a rescue operation. As soon as she activates the signal, it will be received by a Galileo satellite. It will be relayed to the ground stations where uh, the position will be computed. That information will be passed on to the mission control centers and they then find the rescue center nearest to that position. In our case, it is the Maritime Rescue uh, Coordination Center here in Ostende. And once all of that happened, they will launch the rescue operation. The people just simply trigger a beacon and a signal are then taken up by our 24 Galileo satellites. We have an alarm on the French MCC logbook. French beacon is transmitting. And the location is computed just above the coast of Belgium. Once the detection of the position has been uh, found, then it is transmitted to the rescue centers which come and help the people who are in distress. We received a descent alert from a PLP, personal located beacon. The people in the MRCC, they will receive the emergency signal coming from uh, FMCC Toulouse. Uh, they will take immediately action because it's a distress signal. They will try to come in contact with the person who is in distress. And if it's not possible, probably at the MRCC, they will receive the exact position with an accuracy of two kilometers and send out as quickly as possible the surface and the airborne assets. Please proceed to following position, 51 degrees. So the boat is getting there first. To do what? They will do uh, the first examination of the victim. They will pass through all this information to the necessary services. If uh, additional assistance is required, then they will ask it as well. And further instructions will be passed uh, by the MRCC to the helicopter and to the ORCA. And the helicopter uh, will receive the information from our wing operations center. And within the 20 minutes after the signal, the scramble, we should be airborne to, uh, to perform the, the search and the rescue. Flight on 6 During the flight, transit flight, till uh, the scene, they will receive more information uh, via the MRCC also. Once the, the target is found, then we can go over to the rescue operation. How has uh, the Galileo satellites and, and their search and rescue uh, service, how has this changed your work? It, it will make uh, the part of the search and the search and rescue operation more accurate. In the former times, we had to concentrate on a corner of uh, 10 kilometers on 10 kilometers. Now with uh, that Galileo system, it will be reduced to a corner of uh, two on two kilometers. When it's activated and captured uh, by the Galileo satellites and transmitted to the MRCC in four minutes instead of four hours, you have a bigger chance to survive. Diver and Oscar, air fronts, booming in, securing. Everyone 
everyone was so professional and put me at ease when I was on, on the boat. So it was quite a, a significant, amazing experience. I think I will actually 100% consider if I do go somewhere remote. I mean, if be it in the ocean or hiking, I think it's quite important to have a beacon like that with you because if something does happen, say you're hiking and you break your leg, how are you going to be found if you can't get out? All units, this is your temple's plan.